as Canada appoints first special representative on combating Islamophobia. The Canadian government appointed the country's first ever special representative on combating Islamophobia after a series of attacks and harassments against Muslims in Canada. For example, in June of 2021, four members of a Muslim family were killed when a man run them, ran them over with his truck in London, Ontario. On January 26th, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau announced the appointment of journalist and human rights advocate Amira uh, El Gawabi in the new post. He described El Gawabi's appointment to the post as, quote, an important step in our fight against Islamophobia and hatred in all its forms. The Special Representative on Combating Islamophobia is mandated to support Canada's efforts to fight Islamophobia and offer counsel on government programs, legislation, and policies. However, her appointment is not without controversy, as the Quebec government has asked the federal government to retract its endorsement of El Gawabi just four days after her appointment. The Quebec government took issue with a column she published in 2019 wherein she condemned the quote-unquote anti-Muslim sentiment associated with the passage of Bill 21, a piece of legislation in Quebec that prohibits public servants from donning religious symbols, such as the hijab. Didn't she make a general comment about Quebecers, about how they are thinking? She made a post that was kind of anti-Quebecans in general. So... I I haven't I couldn't find the um wait maybe if, if give me a second I might be able to find it but um well if the, while Susanna finds this what what do you guys think about this um and one and how would you feel about it if she was instead of being um what is her the, the position's name anti-Islamophobia person no, the special representative on combating Islamophobia. Okay, okay. So, you know, Islamophobia um, squasher, crusher, something. Like, that's a very long name. Can we have it like a shorter word? Okay. Um, whatever she is. If if the term Islamophobia was replaced with anti-Muslim bigotry, would you guys be happy with this? Because that's my, you know, that would be my, I wouldn't, again, I don't know, regardless of how bad or good she is, I wouldn't have an issue with this if the name was different, okay? And um, if it was just, I mean, I saw some of her columns and she was talking about, oh, anti-Muslim bigotry need to be, she used that language. She used that language. She, she was using not the term Islamophobia, but anti-Muslim bigotry. I'm like, okay, even her, even she is using the right term. How come the Canadian government is not using the right term? Like, why can't they use the same language that she's using? Like, her in her column, she was talking about anti-Muslim bigotry and anti-Muslim discrimination. Why can't she just say that? Why do you have to say Islamophobia? Um, again, I've, I, if they had a, 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 a government oversight committee or whatever this is that was talk was specifically looking at addressing anti-muslim bigotry in canada i would be like oh great that's great do that you know we have a lot of muslims in canada and i want them to feel safe and happy and secure in canada and if this is a specifically challenging thing like for example i would be as happy if we had i don't know a special representative of combating uh, on combating anti-semitism in canada i would be happy with that as well right uh, I would be very happy also if you had a special representative of, on combating anti-atheist bigotry as well. I mean, Canada doesn't need that. So actually, I wouldn't be happy with that because Canada doesn't need that. But but yeah, this would be fine. I would be as, a, as an atheist and as an anti-religion and anti-Islam um, ex-Muslim activist, I would endorse this position if there was a just a slight change in the title can can i have can we have that can we just have that why do you have to call it islamophobia this is this is dangerous yeah yeah but, but i think, think that's obviously our main contention with it i mean her her beef with quebec is a little bit different so my understanding is that she wrote this article about bill 21 and um 
one of the ministers in Quebec said that Al Gawabi has not properly apologized for her comments about Quebec. She seems to be overcome by an anti-Quebec sentiment, he said. All she did yeah. was try to justify her hateful comments. That doesn't fly. She must resign. And if she doesn't, the government must m remove her immediately. And then she said she tried to apologize. Well, oh. per, then she had a, an interview with CBC and said that she had nothing to apologize for. The article that oh. she wrote had all the comment context in it. And it said, it was never meant to suggest that my opinion is that the majority of Quebecers are Islamophobic. I don't believe so. I was merely analyzing the polling numbers. An opinion piece is meant to cause people to think, talk, and reflect. And then it got to a point where now there are survivors of a 2017 mass sh mass shooting at a Quebec mosque that are asking her to apologize to Quebecers. Oh, wow. Because yeah, they're saying they your comments about Quebecers are going to mess up the progress we've made here. Wow, okay. No, I mean, the, uh, the way she writes about Quebecers, if you replace Quebecers with uh, Muslims, then her organization would have been on it. You know what I mean? Like her, her whatever um, special representative office that she has would have considered it Islamophobic if anybody was talking about Muslims the way she talks about Quebecers. So yeah, let's have an let's have a special representative on combating Quebecophobia in Canada as well, and then have these two offices go at each other how about that <laughs> like you just go internal civil war within the federal government um okay here's a I mean, quote we, from the article we have more that caused the controversy. In Canada. Um, it said that quote a majority of quebecers appear to not be swayed by the rule of law but by anti-muslim sentiment that that is it that is the line that is the line that is getting read that one read that again but slowly quote the majority of quebecers appear to be swayed not by the rule of law but by anti-muslim sentiment end quote that's what she said this is her words so she's saying that she specifically said the majority of quebecers don't care about the ru rule of law the guys imagine if somebody else wrote the majority of canadian muslims don't care about the rule of law that would be labeled as Islamophobic. So this whole, this is, these, these institutes, these whatever representatives, the whole point of them is to tackle such broad generalizations about entire group of people. So you are doing exactly what your office is, was meant to tackle. I mean, you don't seem to have a problem with the type of language that you are there, you have hired to combat. Yeah, so. So I don't want to. Well, yeah, that's a that's a problem. That, and she said, and she doubled down. She's like, I have nothing to have for. Okay, well, but I mean, now this... she has. There was an update. Oh. First she oh, doubled down. And then when mosque shooting survivors called her out, then she apologized. <laughs> Okay, okay, what did she say? Did she, yeah, okay, she apologized. Okay, I'm like, good. I've been listening good. very carefully, da, 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 all that kind of language. Okay, good, good, good. See, like, Canada, uh, Canada owes Quebecers, okay? Because this, I mean, I like Canada's level of leftism, okay? But if it wasn't for Quebecers, we would have gone into cuckoo town on leftism, right? So Quebec mm -hmm. is... I'm so glad that Quebec didn't secede from Canada because it's keeping the Anglo, the the rest of the English side of Canada sane on its leftism. Okay, so thank you. Pulling Quebec. them back <laughs> yeah. from just being woke, brain dead numbskulls. Yeah. Yes, thank you. And right on time, Zagros comes in the <laughs> chat and says, hello, my fellow Islamophobes. Yes. Um, Mariam is saying, just make a position for uh, anti-hate generally. Why does Islam get special treatment over Sikhs or Baha'is or Buddhists? I actually don't agree with you, Mariam. I do think that when, even if you have a general anti-discrimination, not anti-discrimination anti body 
if there are a certain group of people that are being more targeted, it makes sense to create an office um, or a, a body that is highlights them specifically. For example, if it, if it was a special representative of co- on combating anti-Semitism in Canada, I wouldn't be like, oh, just make a general anti-hate thing. I was like, no, no, they need special focus. It's fine. Go for it, right? So given uh, Canada's Muslim population growing by the minute, I do think that it makes sense for the government to have a special focus on making sure that these people feel welcome. And can- This is why Canadian Muslims feel more Canadian, right? So I don't mind the government trying to um, make them feel like this is their country, This they belong here, they're not otherized, right? And these kind of steps move uh, in that in that direction, which is good. I just don't like the guy, the, maybe the person that they picked, given her record of how she speaks about the entire group of people, which she is supposed to be against, right? That one. Uh, I mean, she apologized, so we should, we should welcome that, right? But also, I don't like the name. I just hate the name. I know people yeah. think I'm being picky, but I think it's important. It's important to not make it seem like we're defending a religion, okay? The name has Islam yeah. in it. It's important for us to make sure because this is going to be weaponized in, in defending the religion instead of defending the Muslim people. It's because it has the word Islam in there, it's going to be weaponized into silencing criticism on a religion or even insulting a religion rather than protecting individual individuals. Okay, so that is that is very important. I know people think I'm being picky about this, but it's it's not. It's important that you call it anti-Muslim bigotry and not Islamophobia. Yeah. I completely Anyways. agree. Anyways. Yeah. If there is one thing that I know in life, there are two types of people that you don't mess with that are in the top of the list. Number one, you don't F with Ukrainians, okay? Number two, you do not fuck with Quebecers. yes um we have a canadian organization and can we do a sort of petition that asks to rename because what i've seen for people who are you know seem to be ex-muslims or anti-islam is like oh this institution is different yeah it should be abolished like this is bad we shouldn't have this right but we could take a milder position, which might come off as more reasonable, right? We could like keep the organization. Can we ask for a name change? How about we have a petition for requesting a name change? And maybe that we could get that on the news. Actually, I know someone who, um, Doug Thomas at Secular Connection, which is a registered lobby group in Canada. And he is an expert at making petitions for secular causes in Canada and very passionate about, I don't know if he's a Quebecer himself, but he seems to be very well informed about it. But um, yeah, I, I think I should definitely have a discussion with him um, about this. I I think this would be a very worthy petition for us to start and also start s- spread around. And he helped, also he's, even- he's the one who helped us make the petition where we changed the language for the Afghan refugees to not be explicitly religious. Oh, to nice, include nice. non-believers, yeah, and we were okay, effective me, in getting that language changed. That's amazing. Okay, let me finish this point. I think it's important not just to, um, even if it's not successful, I think it will bring a lot of attention to people. Like, why do these people? These people seem to not have a problem with this office being in there. They just want a name change. So that will that by itself will bring a lot of awareness to. Uh, certain people who are not against Muslims, but are against, um, but for our for, for free speech, for making sure that a- anti people can criticize and even insult the religion. I think that's a very good campaign. Let's, let's get on that. Okay, what do you think? It's a good, it's a good idea. Yeah, 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 I can I can arrange a meeting, see what I can do. Nice. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.